Well, the astronaut scholarship is for recognizing students who have potential to uh, make an impact in the United States in the fields of you know, sciences, engineering. The scholarship is a $10,000 scholarship for covering academic related expenses. I'm going to use that financial security to improve um, to improve my research. Uh, let me spend more time researching as well as uh, giving myself more time to work on uh, graduate applications which will hopefully allow me to get a uh, foot in the door. The opportunity to meet people who have already made a huge impact as well as you know the other astronaut scholars who are going to be making an impact is just a tremendous opportunity for just meeting like-minded people, similarly motivated people, and getting to see what they've done is going to probably be a very inspiring thing. It really is a nice tie-in with this astronaut scholarship, being able to uh, meet somebody who's so historically um, experienced in the aerospace field, um, as Joe Kerwin is. I actually didn't really know about the astronaut scholarship until my sophomore year, I applied for the Goldwater Scholarship, and Dr. Whitlow in the Office of External Scholarships suggested, you know, if you are applying for Goldwater, you're probably also a good candidate for the Astronaut Scholarship. She definitely pushed to get deadlines as early as possible, which was sometimes difficult, but almost always very useful. Um, Pat worked with me along the way to help me, um, you know, improve it, to help me consolidate all my ideas into a single piece of paper, which is ultimately what they read. Fortunately, I was able to improve my application. I had a couple of publications the second time, which I think uh, helped me a lot, um, and it seems to have paid off. The Office of External Scholarships really helped me get all that together, and I was successful this year. I've been involved with uh, artificial intelligence research with Dr. Judy Goldsmith in the Computer Science Department. My work has been primarily on planning under uncertainty, so trying to, you can think of how a GPS navigates a car or the, you know, finding directions on your iPhone is that it gives you a sequence of actions to take, uh, directions to drive to get to your goal. My research is kind of extending that to what happens when the consequences of the actions, um, you're not exactly sure what it's going to be specifically getting computers to solve problems where there's a lot of uncertainty. Currently, I'm working in the College of Engineering, um, working with Dr. Trinkle and Dr. Stevens on a micro-robotics project. Um, this micro-robotics project will ideally allow two advancements in micro-assemblies and uh, micro-fabrication uh, methods to allow for different types of microfluidics or um, small-scale research. So there, there are a number of different, um, different things that I've been able to have my hands on as far as research at UK. I really wanted to do undergraduate research. It was a big reason why I came to UK was that you could get involved with research right away. And I worked with the Office of Undergraduate Research. They helped me get in contact with several uh, members of the faculty in the computer science department and just went and talked with uh, each of them, and Dr. Goldsmith was one, and I talked to her about artificial intelligence, and just thought it was really cool. And so that's the field I've been involved with since freshman year, and it's probably going to be the field that I continue with uh, as I go on to graduate school.